Hi everyone and welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week, my fourth October themed nails, my Halloween set of nails. Stay tuned. Great to see you. Great to be back in doing another Monday's Nail of the Week. And this is the fourth set for October for the themed looks. But this set is actually a Halloween set. It's going to follow with a Fashion Friday Halloween costume. Let's take a look at these. What a gorgeous set of nails, right? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to talk about them with you guys, but first we're going to do the words of Jesus for women. We are on the heart of Jesus. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 5, 3. And it goes on to say, the world gives a great deal of recognition to powerful, strong, and wealthy people. But Jesus made it plain that none of those things are most important to God. Jesus gives honor to those who are poor in spirit. That doesn't mean financially poor people. It means those who are humble and who show kindness, respect, and honor to others. That's the kind of spirit that reflects the heart of Jesus. And it is important to humble yourself, people. Definitely humble yourself. Be humble. Help anybody that needs help. People that are in need of help, definitely help them. And just, you know, be humble. Be godly. Be spiritual. You know, walk with Jesus. Don't worry about all the things that you have or all the things you want to try to have or what everybody else has the best of the best. If you're a Christian, we're offered a kingdom. We will have the best of the best. And having Jesus on your side and walking with you, you can't get better than that. No gold in the world could be, you know, or diamonds or anything could mean more than having Jesus on your side and walking with you. So remember that. Just humble yourself and be like it says right here. Jesus gives honor to those who are poor in spirit. That doesn't mean financially poor people. It means those who are humble and who know or who show kindness, respect, and honor to others. So make sure you show that that kindness, that respect, and honor to others. The bottom says, this is just an anonymous one. It says, treat everyone with politeness, even those who are rude to you, not because they are nice, but because you are. That's important. That's again, you know, saying, be good to even thy enemy. Treat thy enemy good. Even if somebody's bad to you, you be the polite one. You be the kind one. Let them see the Holy Spirit pour off of you. That's so important, you guys. Jesus loves a humble person. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with this beautiful book right here, the Holy Bible Life's Manual, the best, most beautiful book you'll ever read. Spend that quality alone time with Jesus, reading his scripture, and gaining that personal relationship with him because you can't get to heaven without going through Jesus, believing he died on the cross, John 3, 16. He died for all of our sins. So get that personal relationship with him. All he expects is a simple thank you and to believe. But you know what? Let's give him more for what he did for us because he paid an ultimate price for us. We were all bound for hell, every one of us. But now if you believe, you have your salvation and we're going to make it to heaven. So open up this beautiful book and read it and spend quality time with them and learn. There's so much to learn in here. So much that happened in the Old Testament and the New Testament and how mad God was in the Old Testament for the sinful people. And then, you know, when the New Testament came, that's when Jesus came to the earth to just be born to die for us. That's what it was. That's what he came to our earth for, to die for our sins. So just give God that quality alone time with him. Definitely, definitely spend that time with him. You know, we deal with hard times in our life, but they don't have to be hard. You can get through them a lot easier if you're walking with Jesus. Because the worst of the worst of the worst, like I always say, we die, we go to heaven. Be much better than being here. Of course, we're going to have fearful hearts. We're going to be scared, you know, but try not to be, you guys. Try not to be. Just Whenever you do have that fear, drop to your knees and pray and ask God to give you more wisdom, knowledge, strength, faith, to fear not and to show more love towards people. That was important in this one I just read. So start your day, everybody, and thank him. Did you thank him today for waking you and keeping you safe? Thank him. Thank him daily. All right. 
let's go on to this set of elegant, gorgeous nails. Now, this is the second one that you guys get to guess on. Remember, you have to guess in this video. You have today, you have tomorrow, and part of Wednesday until I open the toe design and you get one guess. Think hard those with these nails. The pearls, the rhinestones, the lines. The lines are very important, okay? And I'm telling you guys that it goes back into a different time error. I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a hint on that. This one here is going back between 1910 and 1940, somewhere in there, there was a time that women wore these beautiful outfits and it was a roaring time. I'll just say that. Let's see if you guys can guess this one. This one is a Halloween costume and I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I did a beautiful set of nails that matches perfectly with it. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. And of course, you'll see the set of toes first on Wednesday. And then Friday, you'll get the Fashion Friday October themed Halloween costume. So what do you think it's going to be, ladies? And get on board quick and answer these because the first one to answer is the one I'm going to go with. If there was a few of you that answered the same thing last week when I did the um, or the week before when I did the 70s look, I had a few people that did. Um, say the 70s, but Jennifer got it. Jennifer Kreswinski, Krez I always want to say it wrong. Um, she got that one. She came in first. So the first come, first serve. If she's the first one to get it or somebody else does, then like I'm saying, I know it was supposed to be three of them, but I may talk. If at least two of you get it, I may still go with um, letting that go out as a gift for you guys, those polishes. So get on board. This comes with a gift if you get it. So I hope you guys, or wish you guys the best of luck on it. Um, maybe you will get this one from what I was saying. Maybe you'll get this look. And it was just a really classy time. Very classy time. We were very classy back in that time. So I hope you guys get it. I hope you guess it. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Have fun. I'm going to have so much fun doing the fashion and then coming in and showing you guys what it is and see if you got it. So other than that, if you're new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and help many people with their faith, with nails, with toes, with fashion, with ketogenic, with cleaning. I got a multi-channel. So definitely share it around and shoot me a thumbs up if you loved those Bible verses, if you love this set of nails, if you're having fun with all these themed fashions I'm doing for October and you know exactly what this one is, shoot me a thumbs up. Or if you just love me, shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started on this fourth October actual Halloween set of themed nails. I love you all very much. God bless and take care. Hey everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for my fourth October themed set of nails. We've got silver glitter, black tips, rhinestones, beautiful black lines, dots, and pearls. Stay tuned to see how I did this one. Hi everyone and welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week and my fourth set of October nails. This set and the last set I do next week will be matching a Halloween costume. And I'm hoping that you guys can guess what they are. So far, Jennifer's in the lead. She guessed the 70s look. And now we're gonna do this one and one more. And these two, like I said, will follow with a Fashion Friday that's a Halloween costume. So let's see here what this one's going to be. I have started the nails off with a beautiful see-through silver, and then I have tipped it kind of at an angle with black. Then we're going to be running some black lines through it and some dots and crystals. We need this one to be very elegant. So let me go over and show you the supplies. All right. For the silver, I used this one by the Pure Ice. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, kind of holographic silver. It's pretty small, the silver in it. And it is more of a see-through look. And it's called Beware. Okay. And for the black, I went with, and that's from Walmart. This one here is from Dollar Tree, the Kiss Gel, the black, and it's called Express. And that's what I did on the tips. Now for the lines, I did top everything off with the Seshfeet Dry Fast Top Coat just to dry everything up so we can go on to the art. Then I'm going to be working with my Art Deco LA Colors that I got from Dollar Tree. And we're going to be doing black lines kind of, you know, um, almost like a burst going along. The lines going along, but not an actual burst. There'll be lines going down one you know, it'll be longer, then they'll get shorter and shorter. 
and then through the design on one of the nails, I'm gonna be using these kind of grayish black. They're more grayish white to black stone. I'm gonna put on one of the nails through the um, one of the black lines, just on one or two of the nails. And then I'm going to um, be dotting black with a dotting tool, do some black dots as well. And I think all of it, I'll just be using polish to do that. I will glue them down with the ASP glue and use an orange wood stick to pick them up. And then we'll top everything again off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. So yeah, I'm excited. Can you guess yet what this is going to be? Of course, you guys would have seen the front photo and I've already done my intro and all that. So yeah, let's see if you guys can guess what this one's going to be. Let me get started. I'm gonna start doing some of the lines and I'll come back in and show you guys how I'm doing that. Okay, so now you see we've got those beautiful lines. One, you know, larger and then it gets smaller as it goes down. Isn't that pretty? I love it. All right, so let me draw in. I love working with these liner brushes. They're so fun. All right, so we're just gonna get some paint on it, set the brush down at the, you know, at the corner here and just go up. And as we get to the top, lift. So it gets that line in there, you know, that's where it starts out bigger and gets smaller is what I mean. And then do the next one, but make this one shorter. And then do the last one and make that one shorter. I'm gonna go over that one just a little bit more. Didn't have enough paint. Okay, and quick pull at the end so that it gets that that fine line that we're looking for. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, so elegant and so pretty. I love this set. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be great. I love it. All right, now I'm gonna do the dots through it. So let me get that done and I will return. Okay, now we've got the dots running through it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'll show you on this finger. I am using a dotting tool and some black paint and it's just polish. So I'm just gonna dip the dotting tool and it's kind of just a smaller one. And then I'm just gonna dip off just one dot like that. And then right in the center here, you just start dotting, put it down and go ahead and give all pressure because as you go along, it gets smaller and smaller. So we'll try this again because it wasn't working right. Okay, and then just dot them down. And then as you go along, like I said, the dots will get smaller and that's what you want. And I don't know why this one didn't work out that way, but just with a light touch. But there you go, isn't that pretty, you guys? I love it, I love how it goes from smaller to bigger. So this set is really looking elegant, gorgeous. Now all we have left to do is put the rhinestones on. So let me get that done and I'll come in and show you one. Okay, and now I've got the crystals in it and I did decide to do it on all of the fingers. They're a grayish, uh, smoky look. Almost looks like, you know, a diamond color, but it's a smoky gray. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh my gosh. So I decided to do it on every finger. All right, so let's draw in. I've got a little bit of glue and a cap here. I'm just gonna get some on this little orange wood stick. And yeah, it's got glue that's been collected on the end. I like it that way though. I keep it that way so it's just easier and run the glue along the line there. And then we're gonna start picking up these little grayish smoky stones and put them down right in the row. And of course, when I'm on, everything always <laughs> never works out when you're on film. Just make sure I stay in frame though. That's the most important when I have to keep moving my hand. And just keep going along till you get them all in there. Pretty. And oh my gosh, this set is so glamorous. But this was a very glamorous time, you guys. Different time era, very glamorous time. Women were very glamorous then. They really were. So there we go. Isn't that stunning and gorgeous? Easy design to do. Any of you guys can do this one. It was so fun to do, so definitely do this design. All I did was paint the nail silver, did an angled black. You could also just do it straight, but I like the angle the way that we came off with the black striping like that, you know, the, the lines coming off like that, and then the rhinestone. So it wasn't a very hard design, but a very glamorous design. The next, th this one and the next one's gonna be very glamorous, so I'm excited. Just remember, this was a very glamorous time, um, time error. So I hope you guys can guess this one. Let me top coat all of these and I'll be back in to share the end product with you guys. Okay, I decided to do one more thing since pearls are a very big thing for this design. I decided to add in some pearls, one big one and then two little ones on each side of the black um, French tips that I have. 
So I'm going to draw in and just show you that. I've got my pearls here. I've got the larger ones in here. I got these off a of wish. And then I've got the tinier ones right in there. I'm going to be working with those. So we're just going to grab a little bit of glue that I have in this cap here. Right there. I'm just going to dip some glue with this orange wood stick and just get some glue going across here in two couple spots to put it on. And then I'll draw it a little closer. And then I'm going to grab one of the big ones and put that right in the center. Okay. And then I'll grab two small ones for each side. But yeah, pearls are a real big thing for this next look that I'm doing, this Halloween look. So just remember that, that uh, pearls are an important thing. The pearls and just the the um, very beautiful elegance of this one. Just remember that. So it'll help you to be able to guess the fashion, that pearls are very important in this one. And um, sorry, I'm just trying to get this off my finger here. Uh, pearls are, and just the fact of it being very glamorous, okay? Oh, whoops. Being a very glamorous look. So the pearls are important. And I will be top coating over all of them so that they stay down with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And then I will be done and I'll come in and show you guys the end product. And I will be getting a little bit of um, cuticle oil around that so it doesn't look like that. But yes, just remember this look needed the pearls. So let me top coat with everything and I'll be back to show you the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done and check out these elegant, gorgeous set of nails. Now, remember, this is my fourth themed set of nails that will follow with a Fashion Friday Halloween costume. And you only get one guess in this video. So really think clear. Think about this one, the pearls, why I did the black striping, the rhinestones, and it's going back into a different time error. Think hard, guys, because you get only one guess on this one. What do you think I'm going to be doing for my Fashion Friday themed October Halloween costume? Hope everybody is staying safe, happy, and healthy, and leaning on Jesus. Everybody take care and God bless. And good luck on your guessing.